Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat, lalong-lalo na sa mga mag-aaral natin ngayong school year 2020-2021. Muli, ako ang inyong lingkod, Jolan M. Serenio. Welcome to my math class. For this tutorial, ang ituturo ko sa inyo is about the arithmetic sequence. Handa na ba kayo makinig? So, simulan na natin to. For our lesson for today, it's about arithmetic sequence. After going through this lesson, you are expected to first illustrate an arithmetic sequence and determine arithmetic means and end term of an arithmetic sequence. First, let's answer the question, what is an arithmetic sequence? So, ano nga ba ang isang arithmetic sequence? By definition, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each succeeding term is obtained by adding a fixed number. The fixed number is called the common difference, which is denoted as D. Let's continue. To find the next terms in an arithmetic sequence, we use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So let's identify the parts of this formula. For a sub n, this is the first term here, denotes the last term. a sub 1 is your first term. And then n is the number of terms in the given sequence. And again, d is denoted is our common difference, denoted as small letter t. So this will be our general formula in solving problems in arithmetic sequence. So ngayon, and alam nyo na yung mga parts or terms na nandito sa ating formula. Mahalagang maintindihan niyo yung bawat parte ng formula na ito para mas magamit nyo lang maayos sa ating formula in solving problems in arithmetic sequence. So, let's continue. So, let's have a review. Study the given examples below and then identify if it is an arithmetic or not. So, again... Balikan natin, what is an arithmetic sequence? It's a sequence where each term is obtained by adding a fixed number. So, tingnan natin. Our first sequence, 10, 13, 16, 19, and so forth. So, our task is to identify if this sequence is an arithmetic or not. What do you think is the answer? So, for this sequence, it is a arithmetic sequence. It is an arithmetic sequence. Why? Kasi meron siyang common difference na 3. So, para ba natin nalaman na 3 yung naging common difference? So, titignan natin yung sequence. Ang sabi, you're going to add a fixed number. So, the fixed number is our common difference. So, kung ating common difference ay 3, ibig sabihin, from the given term, Start tayo sa 10, our first term. Pag nag-add tayo ng 3, the sum is 13. So, that will be our second term. And then, to get the next term, 13, i-add ulit natin yung ating fixed number na 3. So, 13 plus 3 is 16. And then, to get the next term from 16, add ulit natin yung 3, the sum is 19. Therefore, in this sequence, we have a common or the fixed number na ginagamit natin as our addends o yung pinang-add natin sa bawat given term to get the next term. So, that is 3. Therefore, this sequence is an example of an arithmetic sequence dahil meron siyang common difference na 3. Next, for number 2. Our sequence, 2, 6, 18, 54. So, you're going to check the terms here or the numbers. Tingnan natin kung meron siyang 
common difference or meron siyang fixed number. So, tingnan natin dito. From 2 to 6, to get 6, you just add 4. And then, 6 to 18, mag a ka na dyan ng 12. So, nag-iba. Nag-iba na. Hindi fix yung naging number. So, therefore, ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay not. It's not an arithmetic sequence kasi nagbabago-bago yung mga in add nating numbers sa bawat, pair, sa bawat term. So, like dito, sa 2, to get 6, mag-add ka dyan ng 4. And then, from 6, para maging 18, mag-add ka ng 12. So, nagbago yung ating kinagamit na add-in. So, yung pinang-add natin. So, therefore, wala siyang fixed number or wala siyang common difference. Therefore, this, is, this sequence is not an arithmetic. Next, number 3. 57, 49, 41, so on and so forth. So, tignan natin. So, yung itong set of numbers natin dito, or terms in the sequence, as you can see, uh, decreasing siya, o pababa, no? Pabawas yung ating number. So, from 57, naging 49, and then naging 41. So, tignan natin, uh, arithmetic ba to o hindi? So, the answer is, arithmetic with a common difference of negative 8. Oh, sir, pwede ba ang negative 8? Yes, kasi we're talking about integers. So, pwede tayong mag-add ng negative integers. So, tignan natin. Uh, balikan natin yung uh, so, uh, uh, operation so, sa sign numbers. So, 57. Pag nag-add ako dyan ng negative 8, what will happen is para tayo nag-subtract ng 8 sa 57. So, 57 minus 8, that is... 49. And then, 49, pag nag-add ka ng negative 8, so it's like 49 minus 8, that is 41. So, therefore, consistent na lumalabas yung negative 18 na as our addends, o siya yung pinang-add natin dito sa mga terms to get the next term, no? proceeding terms, so for the succeeding terms. So, which means, ang ating common difference dito is a negative number, which is a negative 8. Ayan, so sana na na-review nyo yung ating previous lesson about identifying uh, what kind of sequence, specifically an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so we're done with that. So, mag-try na tayo magsagot. Let's have illustrative example number 1. So, our first problem, determine the 10th term in the sequence 4, 6, 8, and 10. So, again, our task is to get or to identify or to solve for the 10th term in the given sequence. So, parang sinasabi, uh, ano bang number ang pang-10? Pag pinagpatuloy ko tong sequence na to, ano ba yung pang-10 number dyan? So, parang ganun. So, again, let's use the formula A sub N is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Okay, so again, identify natin yung mga parts. So again, this one, our first element, or yung ating first term in the sequence is 4. So pwede natin isulat, a sub 1 is equal to 4. Next, our common difference. So here, the common difference is 2. So, kung titignan natin yung ating sequence, kung mapapansin ninyo, from the first term, uh, going to the second term, from 4, naging 6, 6, naging 8, 8, and then followed by a 10. So, kung titignan natin, nag a tayo dito ng 2 to get the next term. For example, ito, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. So, therefore, meron tayong common or fixed number na ina-add, which is known as the common difference, kaya pwede natin sabihin ngayon ng ating D is 2. So, mahalaga na nagtama ang ating common difference o yung value ng D. Kasi yun yung mag identify ng pattern sa ating sequence. And the term N is equal to 10. So, bakit pa 10? Kasi nga hinahanap natin is yung pang 10, no? Ano bang number yung pang-sampu kapag pinagpatuloy natin itong sequence na to? 
That's why our n is 10. Kasi 10th term. Okay? Let's continue. So, magsosolve na tayo. Let's do our solution using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times t. So, again, balikan natin. Ano-ano yung mga values na na-identify natin kanina? Again, our a sub 1 is 4. Our common difference is 2. And the n, the value of n is 10. Okay, let's start. By substitution, so if our n is 10, so you will have now a sub 10 equals, again, our first element or first term is 4. So we're going to write now 4 plus the quantity. So again, n is 10. So magiging 10 minus 1. So itong um, 1 is a constant term here. So, hindi siya mapapalitan. So, open and close parenthesis and then you have here 2. 2 is our common difference. So, once again, our new equation now is a sub 10 is equal to 4 plus the quantity 10 minus 1 times 2. Next is, we're going to apply yung order of operations. So, in this case, so we're going to have a sub 10 is equal to 4 plus, so 10 minus 1 is 9 times 2. Next, let's continue the operation. So we have here a sub 10 is equal to 4. And then after this, we multiply na natin. 9 times 2 is 18. And then last is we're going to add 4 plus 18. So therefore, our a sub 10 now is 22. So, in this equation, a sub 10 is equal to 22. Ano ibig sabihin nun? 22 is the 10th term of the arithmetic sequence. So, nasagot na natin yung tanong. Sinasabi kasi ang tanong kanina, ano, bang, ano ba yung pang 10th term doon sa ating given sequence? So, our answer is 22. So, if you're going to continue yung sequence given kanina, yung Pang sampu doon is number 22. That's it. So, yun ay ating magiging final answer doon sa ating example number 1. Okay. Let's have another term here. So, let's answer the question. What is an arithmetic means? The terms between any two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence are known as arithmetic means. Pag sinabi nating non-consecutive, ibig sabihin yung hindi magkasunod na, na terms or numbers. So, let's try. For our example, number 2, our task is to find 2 arithmetic means between 2 and 8. So, ibig sabihin dito, uh, blanco. No? Meron tayo doon skip. So, Anong mga numero ba yung nasa pagitan ng 2 and 8? So, sabi, mag insert tayo dyan ng 2 arithmetic means. So, in that case, if 2 is our first term, ibig sabihin, hahanapin natin yung second term at saka yung third term. And then, yung 8, siya yung fourth term. Kasi nga, mag insert tayo, hahanapin natin yung uh, terms, or also nasa the arithmetic means, between 8, 2 and 8. Okay? So, sa pagitan nila yung dalawang number. So, yun yung ating goal. Mahanap natin yung value ng a sub 2 and a sub 3. So, again, we're going to use the same formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Okay, so by substitution, so alam natin na yung ating last term sa sequence na to is yung 8. So, ilalagay natin siya so, substitute natin siya sa a sub n. So, we have now 8 equals. So, again, ang first term natin, yung nasa unahan ng ating sequence is number 2. Kaya, ito yung ilalagay natin dito. Plus, the quantity 4. So, sir, bakit 4? Kasi pag binilang natin, including the missing means, arithmetic means, apat lahat yan. Tingnan natin, 2, and then the second term, the third term, at saka fourth term. So, ibig sabihin, uh, we have 4 terms here. So, ang n natin ngayon ay 4. Okay? Kasi siya yung, pang ilan ba yung 8? Siya yung pang 4 dun sa sequence. So, 4. Minus, again, 1 is constant here. 
and then multiply natin sa t. So, in this case, uh, hindi natin ma-identify pa yung common difference kasi nga kailangan natin ay consecutive terms to identify the common difference. That's why, in this problem, ang ating goal ay mahanap natin yung value ng d kasi siya yung unknown. Okay, so let's continue. Or, uh, order of operation, so we have now 8 equals 2 plus 3d. Sir, paano nangyari sa nanggaling yung 3d? Dito siya galing. So, minus muna natin. So, perform muna natin operation sa loob ng parentheses. 4 minus 1 is 3. And then, times natin sa d, kaya meron tayong 3d. Okay? And then, so here, we're going to get the additive inverse of uh, 2 kasi kailangan ma-isolate natin yung may variable, itong term na 3d. Kasi ang goal natin, makuha natin yung value ng d. So, therefore, we get the additive inverse of 2, that, that is negative 2. Kaya nagkaroon tayo dito ng 8 minus 2. Sabi ba, yan, para i-transpose mo lang siya dito sa left side of the equation para maiwan yung term na merong d. So, pag tinaspose mo siya doon, you get the opposite sign, that is uh, negative 2. Or yung tamang term dyan is you get the additive inverse of this constant na 2. Kaya meron tayong 8 minus 2 equals 3d. And then, perform the operation, 8 minus 2 is 6 equals 3d. So, ngayon, ito na. So, in this equation, sir, paano ba natin kukunin yung value ng d? So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan na ito, apply lang natin yung ruling natin dyan. So, to solve for d, we need to divide uh, both sides of the equation, itong 6 equals to 3d, by the coefficient of d. So, ang coefficient of d natin is 3. So, di-divide natin siya sa 3, kasi ang goal natin ay maging 1 yung coefficient ng d para masolve natin yung, yung value niya. So, in this case, so pag di-divide natin to by 3, so, 3D divided by 3, so pwede natin siya i-cancel out of, because that is equivalent to 1. So, you have now D. And then, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Therefore, the value of D now is 2. Ibig sabihin, ang ating common difference dito is 2. Now, so paano natin gagamitin yon Yung ating common difference na 2. Again, if the D is 2, to generate the next terms by adding d to the previous term. So, yun yung gamit ng value ng d. We're going to add to the previous term. So, again, so by equation, yung a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus d, and then a sub 3 is equal to a sub 2 plus d. So, tingnan natin, which means that a sub 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, and a sub 3 is equal to 4 plus 2, which is 6. So, the numbers 4 and 6 are the two arithmetic means between 2 and 8. Kasi nga, kapag in natin yung 2, so from the first term, 2 plus 2, that is 4. And then, 4 plus 2 is 6. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So, ang nasa pagitan ng 2 and 8 ay yung numbers 4 and 6. So, kung baba... So, that will be known as the arithmetic means. So, i-add nyo lang. So, napakahalaga na yung value ng din natin ay tama. Kasi kung mali yun, hindi natin makukuha yung tamang sequence. So, kailangan kasi may yung pattern yung mahalaga dito. So, i-add lang natin. Napakadali. So, kung kapag nakuha na natin common difference, you just add it to the previous term uh, to get the next term. Kaya, from 2, in lang natin yung 2, nakuha natin yung 4, and then 4, plus 2, that is 6. And then, 6 plus 2, that is 8. So, nakompleto na natin yung uh, sequence kanina. Okay, that's it. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa ating math class, sa aking math tutorial. Thank you very much. Stay healthy and safe. God bless us all. Muli, ako ang inyong guro, Jolan M. Serenia.